Module 4. Heat Transfer You can feel heat in your daily activity. You feel heat when you are running so fast, locked in a closed room without ventilation, cooking your food, and doing other daily activities. Heat energy travels from one substance to another by conduction in solid, convection in liquid, and radiation in empty space. Okay class, before we go further to our lesson today, let's have a short review. Draw a happy face if the situation shows the practice of safety measures and sad face if not. 1. Playing with sharp objects like knives, scissors, and others. 2. Plugging in the cell phone charger while your hands are wet. 3. Turn on the light switch while you and your family members are outside. 4. Ironing wet clothes and 5. Walking carefully while the road is slippery. Do you get the right answer? Okay, let us now proceed to activity number 1, melting or not. These are the materials needed in this activity. Spoons, margarine, crayon, sugar, candle, and much. We will identify whether these materials are melting or not and describe how heat transferred in solid materials. Light a candle with a matchstick. Put one tablespoon of margarine on the spoon. Then slowly bring the spoon to the flame of the candle. Observe the changes. Some solid substances can melt with easily. Sometimes this metal spell that we are using right now in this experiment. Some good conductor of heat include metals made of aluminum, iron, stainless steel, brass, silver, and other metals. The molecules of metals are so compact that they allow heat energy to flow rapidly from molecule to molecule. As we have observed, the heat from the candle flame transferred rapidly to the metal spoon that we are using that causes the margarine and crayon to melt. Conduction is the transfer of heat energy to solid substances. Heat travels from particle to particle of solids that are in contact with each other. When we place the metal spoon on the flame of the candle, the heat from the flame will transfer to the metal spoon that causes sugar, margarine, and crayon to melt. That is conduction, the transfer of heat through solid materials. Okay, for activity 2, let's find out. Describe how heat is transferred in the liquid materials. Half fill the transparent container with tap water and place the container on the top of 4 cups. Using a medicine dropper, put 3 drops of colored water at the bottom of the water. Yellow colored water on the sides and red colored water in the middle. Place a cup with hot water in the middle container just below the drop of red colored water. Observe what happens to the red and yellow colored water. As we have observed, the red colored water rise up, while the yellow colored water remain in the bottom of the container. This is due to the glass of hot water at the bottom of the container. The molecules at the bottom get heated first. The heated molecules move and rise pushing the top molecules, which are called to the bottom. That movement of heat is called convection. The method of heat transfer through the movement of fluid like liquid and gas. Okay, let's move on to activity 3. You can do it. In this activity, you will describe how heat is transferred through empty space. These are the materials needed in this activity. Plate, margarine, twig, butter, plastic bottle, and ice cube. 
put all the materials on a plate, then go out, then place all the materials under the sun. Observe what happened on the materials after 5 minutes. Okay, after 5 minutes, as we can see, the trick and the bottle remain the same. It did not melt, while the ice, butter, and margarine almost melt. Ice cubes, margarine, and butter melted due to radiation. Radiation is the transfer of heat energy by infrared waves. The heat waves travel through space without any matter. Heat from the burning wood travels by radiation to your hand is another example. For our last activity, classify me. Study the situations below. Classify them if they belong to conduction, convection, and radiation. Write your answer in the column. 1. The cheek were kept warm from the heat of lamp or fluorescent light. 2. Walking under the heat of the sun. 3. Warming of air. 4. A metal spoon left on a hot pan warms up. And number 5. In boiling water, it follows this cycle. The hot water rises and the pool down on top. Then it goes down again to be heated, causing it to rise to the top again. Now let's check your understanding. Look at the illustration below. Describe and level the diagram based on the type of heat transfer. Now, check your answer. I know you are now ready to answer the post test. Enjoy learning!